Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And moving on to the next example, we're told that this limit, uh, the limit as x approaches zero of x plus four to the power three over two, plus e to the x minus nine all over x represents the derivative of f of x when x is equal to a. We gotta figure out what's the function f of x and what's the a value. So I've gone over similar questions like this in the lecture videos already where you're given a limit and you're told it's the derivative. And when you're given a question like this, what you have to do is relate that limit back to the definition of a derivative. And if you remember, we've gone over two definitions of a derivative. So either f prime a, so the derivative of f of x at an x value of a, is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. Or we also went over an alternative definition where we have the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. Right, so either of these limits here is going to give you f prime a, the derivative of f of x when x is equal to a. So the first step in a question like this is actually figuring out which of these definitions are you working with. And the easiest way to see that is to see, do you have the limit as h approaches zero or the limit as x approaches some kind of number? And if you look at this limit, notice we have x approaching zero. We don't have h approaching zero. And so if it was in this format, you would see like x plus h plus four to the power three over two or e to the power of x plus h. But the fact that the x's are by themselves, we know that we're dealing with just f of x in that numerator. We're gonna be subtracting f of a. So just overall, we know we're working with this definition over here for this particular limit. And if we're working with this definition here, well, notice it's really easy to figure out what is the a value. Because notice as x approaches a, and then we have as x approaches zero over here. And so the a value we know is zero. So we're already done half of the question just by figuring out which definition we're working with. Now, if it was in this format, that a value would be a little tougher to find, and I've gone over examples like that before. But if you're working with this definition, that a value is pretty easy to find. It's just gonna be right there in the limit. So the a value is zero. The question is, what's the function gonna be? And notice that here in this uh, definition, we got x minus a, but here we only have an x by itself. But that actually makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rewrite this limit. The fact that the x is by itself, it's actually x minus zero. So you know the a value is zero, so x minus zero, that's the same as just x being by itself. And so I added that minus zero here just to put this closer to this format here. And hopefully you could tell from here, what's the function? Well, the function is basically everything that has an x value, all of that. And then what is the f of a? Well, it's this nine here. And it makes sense because if all of this is the function, f of x equals x plus four to the power of three over two plus e to the x. Well, f of a, the a value is zero in this case, what's f of zero gonna be? Well, f of zero, is going to be zero plus four, so four to the power of three over two, plus e to the power of zero. Now what's four to the power of three over two? Well, we can split that up as four to the power of one half to the power of three, split up the exponent. Four to the power of one half is the same thing as square root of four, which is two. Two to the power of three is eight. So this is gonna be eight, and then e to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero is just one and so we end up getting nine. And so notice that we got f of x minus f of zero all over x minus zero. Right? And then we got the limit as x approaches zero. Right? So notice that this is in 
that format. And this here, f of x equals x plus four to the power of three over two plus e to the x is the function we're working with. And so that's the answer. That's the function. And then that is the particular a value.